To check out the Broadway Bridge tonight, it's going to look like this. Take a look here. That is completely shut mm. down. TDOT's been working on it for months now. This is what they say it'll look like once it's done. Getting there is going to take a little bit of time here, at least for a while. Our <laughs> Danielle Jackson covering this story tonight. So let's talk about how long construction is going to take here, Danielle. Tracy and Mari is the, well this week's particular closure started tonight at 8 p.m. and will reopen this Friday at 5 a.m. In the meantime, people will have to use the detours if they're heading to the busy Broadway area. Whether you're driving or walking, you'll have to find another route if you're heading towards the Broadway Bridge over the next few days. It's going to affect a lot of people, um, business here and bars here. You see this area is very busy. The construction signs you see along this corridor are all a part of the Tennessee Department of Transportation State Route 1 bridge replacement. The 75 year old bridge has shown signs of deterioration. I use it every day on my daily part. This street right here, it connects to the heart of music. Nashville tourists like Emily Davis from Vancouver will have to find alternate routes to get to the heart of country music. We were hoping to check out some of the parts further out from downtown and possibly on the other side of the bridge, but uh, given that it's going to be closed, we're going to consider taking a detour around and uh, find our way around maybe the long way. Starting June 19th until June 23rd, the bridge will be closed from 10th to 12th Avenue. Walkers and drivers can use Church Street and Demobrian Street as a detour. The complete bridge closure project is set for July 5th through September 1st. TDOT, along with the construction crew, plans to pause construction July 17th through the 20th to avoid disturbing the SEC's guests that will kick off at the Grand Hyatt Hotel. Once the construction is complete, this is what it will look like. Three lanes in each direction, an eight foot stripe median, and 11 foot sidewalks featuring greenery on both sides of the roadway. It's a hindrance, but I think uh, in the long run, people will find a way to experience downtown. Now, this entire project is expected to be completed in October. Head over to our WSMV4 News 4 app for more on this project. Tracy Marius. All right, Daniel Jackson, thank you. And